We've done a bit of a strip down of this 3.5 engine that's come from the uh, TR8 that's uh, currently above us. And um, yeah, it's definitely not been burning its fuel very well. I uh, don't know if you can zoom in on this, Steve, but we've got huge amounts of carbon build up in here. In fact, I'm probably uh, just pick a bit off and show you that on my fingertip. Every single cylinder is like that in the combustion area on the cylinder head. Uh, this one's been consuming oil by the looks of it a little bit as well. And um, on the top of pistons, you can see again, we aren't getting a very efficient burn of fuel because we're getting lots of carbon build up dark around the outside and on the centre of the piston, getting very, very hot, very white. So again, we're not getting a very good mixture of air and fuel, uh, not getting a decent spark to uh, burn that fuel either. So uh, what we've also found, if you'd like to rotate the engine, Steve, is a new noise. So I think further investigation is required. We said we'd just show you a couple other bits as this engine came to uh, pieces. So here we've got the distributor that we've removed from it, which uh, has been converted. It's had the original, uh, what would have been electronic style pickup taken out of it. Um, and this optical style pickup placed in, so there's a little uh, optical pickup there, which uh, flashes through these little slots, a uh, multi-core cable connected to it. Um, these are okay, they do exactly what they say they're going to do. Their original purpose was normally to replace points distributors and turn them into electronic. They do that just fine, but fine isn't good enough for us. We like to get a nice big fat juicy spark down there to burn the air and fuel mixture. So we'll be replacing this with one of our brand new distributors with a, a Rover style pickup. And then we can use our A&R amplifier with it. Um, and magna core leads of course. Uh, I've got a piston sat here. Um, first of all you can see the amount of carbon build up uh, we've got on the top of this piston. Absolutely disgusting. Um, so also what we'd like to show you is this uh, the two oil scraper rings here on the bottom are separated by this oil, uh, separator ring and we've got a large gap in there. We've never seen this style of ring before. Um, potentially this could cause an issue where the rings could bow in here very slightly, uh, which obviously means they wouldn't actually uh, be doing their job properly. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much concluded our engine strip down. So the next video after this, I would imagine, will be the engine build. Off to Holly's room, I reckon.